He was a Swedish engineer, physicist, aeronaut, and polar explorer. He is known for leading an attempt to reach the geographic North Pole by hydrogen balloon. He is recognized for his contributions in the field of polar exploration and aeronautics. His name is Salomon August Andre. Salomon August Andre, a Swedish engineer, physicist, aeronaut, and polar explorer, was a man driven by a relentless thirst for discovery. Born on October 18, 1854, in Grana, Sweden, Andre's pioneering spirit and unwavering determination led him to embark on an audacious expedition to reach the geographic North Pole by hydrogen balloon. In an era where the polar regions remained uncharted and mysterious, Andre saw an opportunity to push the boundaries of human exploration. In July 1897, Andre, together with his two companions, Nil Strindberg and Knut Frankel, set off from Spitsbergen, an archipelago located in the Arctic Ocean. Their plan was to use a hydrogen balloon to navigate the treacherous Arctic waters and reach their ultimate destination, the North Pole. Equipped with supplies and instruments, the intrepid explorers embarked on a journey that would test the limits of human endurance. However, fate had different plans. The balloon expedition faced numerous challenges, including unfavorable weather conditions and technical difficulties. Despite their best efforts, the team was unable to reach the North Pole and found themselves stranded on Danes Island, a desolate and unforgiving place. Trapped by the harsh Arctic conditions, Andre and his companions struggled to survive. They built a makeshift camp, hoping for rescue or a chance to find their way back to civilization. But tragically, their efforts were in vain. In October 1897, Andre and his companions succumbed to the unforgiving Arctic environment, leaving behind a legacy of bravery and exploration. The ill-fated expedition of Salomon August Andre had a profound impact on the world, serving as a stark reminder of the dangers and challenges that come with pushing the boundaries of human exploration. Their tragic end sparked international attention and led to advancements in polar exploration techniques and safety measures. Today, the story of Salomon August Andre serves as a testament to the indomitable spirit of exploration and the inherent risks that come with venturing into the unknown. His legacy lives on, inspiring future generations of explorers to push the limits of human knowledge and understanding. As a young man in Grana, Sweden, Andre experienced the loss of his father in 1870, which deepened his bond with his mother. He enrolled at the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm and graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering in 1874. In 1876, while working as a janitor at the Swedish Pavilion in the Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia, he discovered his passion for balloon travel after reading a book on trade winds and meeting American balloonist John Wise. Returning to Sweden, Andre opened a machine shop that unfortunately proved unsuccessful, leading him to seek other employment. From 1880 to 1882, he worked as an assistant at the Royal Institute of Technology. During this time, he also joined a Swedish scientific expedition to Spitsbergen led by Nils Ekholm in 1882 to 1883. Andre's role in the expedition involved studying air electricity. Continuing his scientific pursuits, Andre worked at the Swedish Patent Office from 1885 until his death. He made significant contributions to scientific literature, publishing journals on topics such as air electricity, conduction of heat, and inventions. Additionally, Andre served as a member of the Stockholm City Council from 1891 to 1894, where he advocated for industrial and technical progress, believing that it would lead to the emancipation of women. Throughout his early life and influences, Andre's unwavering dedication to scientific exploration and his fascination with balloon travel laid the foundation for his future endeavors. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.